Okay, hey folks, Mark Locklear here uh, with uh, screencast on chapter 18, uh, how to work with text and binary files this is our final chapter of the, uh, of the semester. Um, just want to thank everybody for the hard work this semester. We um, hope you learned a, a lot this, um, just let me say a few words about going forward um, for you even after you leave this class. You know, your Java was I'm sure it was the first time you had worked with it for many of you. You're learning the syntax and, and you may have been challenged by it, but rest assured your first, you know, real software development job you get, that's that's really when you'll become intimate with a language. It may be Java, maybe PHP, it may be Ruby, uh, whatever it is, that's, you know, when you're dealing with a, uh, with a language eight, 10 or 12 hours a, a day, that's when you really become familiar with it. So I hope what you picked up from this is sort of the larger picture of software development and some processes and techniques that maybe aren't language specific but again are programming specific and you'll be able to take with you uh, with whatever language you use. So chapter 18, uh, text and, and binary files. Um, I think what we're going to do today is just create a simple application that's going to read from a text file. The um, So at some point in your career if you go on to, to be a software developer you'll deal with text files. When I say text files I mean it may be uh, there's various formats out there. J JSON is kind of the new hotness right now, but it may be JSON or it may be XML, whatever it is. You, you, or it could be some flat, flat file or uh, something like a, a CSV. Whatever format it's in, you'll be expected to parse it and be able to search and pull data and manipulate data and do different things with it. So that's kind of uh, that's kind of the idea here. So. We're going to create a simple application that's, uh, I think, we're just going to read from a text file, and then we'll manipulate, uh, we'll manipulate some text inside that file too. So I'm just going to create a basic new application here, and uh, rather than paste code in, I think I'm going to actually type it in and let you see, uh, just kind of let you get a feel for the actual creation of a pro program. So we're going to use, uh, we're going to create, to begin with, we're going to create a buffered reader object. Now there's a lot of kind of native objects and tools that Java uses to read and manipulate text files and many of them are nested so that's just sort of takes some warming up to. Um, in this case we're going to create a buffered reader object. We're going to call that object in and so we're going to do new Buffer to reader, and then inside. So then inside this buffered reader object, the argument we're going to pass is we're going to create a new file reader object. And the file we're going to read in here, we can call this whatever we want. I'm just going to call it textfile.txt. And so we'll do that. Let me correct this. And what I'm going to need to do is go create this text file.txt file uh, outside of our Java program in the file structure. And you'll, you'll see that in a second. So I'm just going to do Alt Enter here. And I need to import the buffered reader class. And then I also need to import, again, Alt Enter, this file reader. And then notice uh, we've got another error. And then we need to catch some throws. You notice there's going to be this throws calls throws clause. Uh, in this case it's going to be for file not found exception. So notice that adds this to our main class here. And I, I won't say much about that, but you can read you can read more up about that. Read up more on that in, in the book. Okay. Alright, so essentially all we're doing with this line is reading in this text file.txt. And um, we're gonna I'm gonna wait to create that because I actually want to run the application uh, you know without you uh, without that file being there just so you can see the error that, that's going to be thrown. Now we're going to create a string. Uh, we'll call this line, and we're going to on this in object we're going to do uh, in dot read line. Okay, and now what this actually allows us to do is uh, we're we're going to read this file line by line, and in this case we're going to read the first we're reading the first line, and now we're going to actually create a while loop, and so we'll say while line not equals to null. And then we're going to do some stuff in, inside here, okay? Um, 
So what this does for us is, again, we're going to be reading inside this text file.txt. We're going to go line by line, and as long as there's some text there in a, in a new line, we'll keep reading that in. And at, at the point when we get to the end of that that file, then that next that last line is going to read null, and that'll exit us out of the um, that'll exit us out of the while loop. Okay. All right. So now we're going to create another string object inside here because we're going to do some manipulation. I'm going to call this insert and I'm going to say line dot to string. And all this is doing is taking that first line and, and converting it to, to a string. And then now we'll just do a system dot out and then we'll do print line and we're going to actually print out that variable just so we can see what it looks what it looks like. And then finally the last thing we need to do is read that uh, read the next line in. So we'll now we're going to set line equal to n dot read line. So we'll be doing that again. And then let's make sure. So we also yeah we need to add this other throws calls clause notice we had this error. This is the IO exception for reading up uh, reading an in individual line, so notice that adds this this clause here. Okay, and then the final thing we need to do is actually close this this end this um, close this buffered reader object. So in this case, we do n dot close. The reason we're closing this is think of this idea of you think of this uh, this concept of streams, and when a file is a opened in Java you're sort of the uh, concept is you're opening a stream up and as we read line by line we've got a stream there and then you always sort of want to clean that up at the end of the per program so you do this close statement here a lot of a lot of newer a lot of more modern languages sort of take care of this for you Java Java doesn't do do that it's very explicit so it expects you, you it expects you, you to do it but again the idea is you want to close that that stream Okay, so if we run this application now, let's see what we get. Well, notice we get this file not found exception, and the basically, as I mentioned before, we're, we're reading in this text file.txt. Well, we haven't created that file yet, so let's actually go ahead and do that now. This is the root of my, all of my projects are stored inside this NetBeans folder inside my home folder, and this is Java application 36. So we go here, and then I'm actually create the new document here. So I'm going to call this text file.txt. And now if I come back here and I run this, notice we get a successful build. And of course it doesn't do anything because, well, we don't have anything inside that text file, right? So let's go ahead and take care of that now. Let's uh, open this up in a text editor. And we'll say something like, I love Java on one line. And then we'll say, I love Ruby on another line. And then we'll save that. And now we'll go back here and let's run this. So notice now what we get, we get I love Java, I love root Java, I love Ruby. And again, that's what that while loop does is it goes through line by line and sort of uh, and prints, just simply prints that text out. So you can imagine a scenario where, you know, you may, um, you know, I'm working on a, a project here at AB Tech now where there's another, si there's another system and another process that is creating a flat text file and I'm going to need to go through there line by line and search out. In that case I'm going to be manipulating some student data so I need to go in there and search for um, you know there's a student ID and a first name and a last name in there and I've got a, um, I've, I'm creating a process on my end that's going to go in and look at that text file and pull that data in and then I'll be manipulating it and passing it off to another process. So but let's say we wanted to do something. Uh, so again, we're creating, in this case, each line is being um, saved as this INS variable. So what that's going to allow me to do is I can do INS dot, and then I can do something like, notice all the things. Again, this, this is just a string object. So notice I've got all, all of these, um, they've got all of these methods that are available to me. In this case, let's do a replace. And we'll do a replace all, let's say. We could do replace or replace all. We'll do replace all in this case. And let's say I wanted to do, I wanted to look for Java and any occurrence of Java, maybe I would say Python. Okay. Um, and then we'll close that out. Now, if we run this, notice what we see. Well, I don't see anything any different here. Well, 
when I output this, we talk about mutable and immutable variable strings. In this case, it's it's im it's immutable, and that is it's not being changed. I'm doing this replace, but it's not being actually saved to the object. Now, a little trick I can do here is I can do ins equals, and then do ins dot replace all. Now, this replaces uh, this is going to replace that ins variable with this replace all string. So now when I run it, notice I see Python instead of Java there. Okay. Um, that's really all I'm going to do. Um, there, there's, you know, the sky's the, the limit. Java gives you a ton of, of, um, of tools, classes, methods to go in and manip manipulate data and text files. And it does a really, you know, a, a really good job, a really, a really efficient job at um, manipulating text text files. So I think that's all I've got for now. Um, I'll include a pasty with this code in it just so you can play, play with it some. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.